cover. Oi, oi, oi. Hola, come on, man. Well, it's for YouTube. It's for YouTube. Hey, come on. Hello. This is Uwe. I was supposed to film when he was really, really small, but I didn't. <laughs> hey, Jumal! <laughs> hey, Jumal! Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is Juve. He's four months. Did you just burp? No, I think it was Gumba. <laughs> he is the same breed as Gumba, so he's going to be super white. <laughs> Ow! And he's just getting, you know, new teeth, so he's biting me all the time. Whee! But he is, um, okay, soft coat, no, the Irish soft coated wheat and terrier. Uh, but he has the American style of fur, um, fur? I don't know. Uh, Gumbal has the Irish one. Hey, oi, push by day. And uh yeah so he's he's really big Wee! Hey, Uwe. Hey. and Gumbald is well he's just ignoring him <laughs> that's why i was so surprised that he came into the room Wee! Hey, Uwe. hey. okay <laughs> so he looks really big in his camera he isn't that big but Hey, Uwe. Hey. Hey. Can you say hi to YouTube? Hi, Uwe. You can't see your eyes. He's so soft. Yes, it's my makeup. <laughs> and now I'm going to let uh, my Sambo take him. And I ask. Du är väldigt dålig på att låtsas som att du inte hör mig. För du reste dig innan jag sa det. Du får vara i bild om du ska ta honom. <laughs> Show him! Show him! <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking like this. This is the best buy ever look. Oh, it's so warm and cozy and I look like crap, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> this video, except for showing off Uwe, by the way, Uwe is named, I think I said this last time I did a video, which was like forever ago, uh, but he's named after a Swedish movie called A Man Som Heter Uwe, A Man Called Uwe. And I want a dog called Uwe. <laughs> and the actor playing Uwe is called Rolf Lasgård. And that actor also plays the part of Gunvald. Hey! Du! Du! Ingen intim hygien. Nej. And the funny thing <laughs> is that we have bought a... Uh, robot vacuumer, robot uh, you know, a vacuum cleaner, but that is automatic. So you just press a button and it does what you want it to, you know, mopping and vacuuming and whatever. And we call it Kurt uh, because Rolf Lasker also plays a part called Kurt Wallander. Funny. <laughs> So uh, all our uh, animals and pets are named after Rolf, Rolf Lasgård, Rolf Lasgård. Anyway, that was not what I was going to say. I was going to say that this video is in, it's a collab with my, one of my absolute best friends. And I'm just looking down on my phone to find exact name on our channel. She, we met through YouTube because she was watching my videos. And we realized that we live very close to each other. Or we used to. Now we both live, lives 
Oh, I can't talk. We both lives in lives. It's not called lives. We both live in houses and very far away from each other. And uh, yeah, but she didn't have a YouTube channel. And we have a makeup group where all of us has YouTube. Uh, it's me, Lisa uh, Lobotomy, uh, Angelica Lirmar, uh, Malin Modin, and yeah, Madeleine. <laughs> but now she has uh, done a collab with me and that also means that she has a YouTube channel. Way! And her channel is called Makeup by Madde. Look. And I'm so proud of her because she already has like 300 subscribers almost and she uh, she's very dedicated. Um, she has put up a lot of videos already and uh, two of them are palette collection you should watch them um she has a lot of uh, palettes i think besides myself i think she's the one i know that has the most palettes i think but she has also done a declutter video so or two um but you should really go watch her she's really funny and she knows a lot about makeup and she collects some brands that i don't collect uh, that are more expensive and can tell you more about them um and also a shout out to patrick <laughs> uh, maybe i'm not allowed to say his name but you know her sambo <laughs> hi patrick <laughs> Uh, and Andreas also says hi. And he's pretending not to hear me right now. And yeah, this video anyway is supposed to be 10 palettes that are kind of older, uh, but that we still use. And older is a very loose term uh, because older, I don't have a lot of... Well, I have a lot of old palettes, but I don't use them that much. So I want to take palettes that I actually use from time to time. But I haven't bought them the last couple of months, kind of. And it was really hard because in the last year, I haven't been using makeup that much. And I haven't been filming and so on. So... It was really hard not to pick just the palettes you already know I love and use. So some palettes you are going to guess which they are. And some maybe not. I don't know. Uh, and I always have a vision of me going back to filming. But I don't want to force it. Um, it hasn't been any time to do that. And I haven't made the time for it and now we have Iove and yeah yeah um was there something else I was going to say I don't think that me and Madeleine will have the same palettes so go check out her video for something else uh, but I think I'm going to start with some that you may guess that I have, maybe, uh, but at least 10 palettes. I think I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that was hard. It took like an hour to pick out and my glasses aren't clean. I haven't gotten used to, you know, wearing glasses. So yeah, I'm looking like this and doing this, but I'm taking the boring and then I'm taking some that you may know. I'm sorry about the shaking, but because I'm filming with <sighs> my boyfriend's phone. But yeah, two palettes that are really old, and I think they are almost, they are at least some of the oldest palettes in my collection, but I still use them and they are still really good. And I often use them together because usually I use them separately. But nowadays, I have different preferences, if you call it that. So I use them together. And it's the classic, you know, Urban Decay, Naked 1 and 2. 
Uh, these are really old, even though I didn't buy them when they came out. I think I bought mine when the third had been out for a while also, but before smoky came out but anyway you know what it looks like but and actually these are the only palettes i keep the brush in because it's a really good brush but this is number one and as you can see it's not normal that i have uh, dents in my eyeshadow because i don't use them that much and i have so many but as you can see there is a real dent in that one uh sin and virgin actually also and naked but yeah i really like this one but this was always my favorite the naked too look at my nail that was not pretty <sighs> yeah but it looks like this it's more cool tone and as you can see, there is a dent in that one called Pistol. And also in Booty Call. That one. But yeah, I, when I'm going to do something simple and neutral, I just use these two. Um, and I also take this one traveling because it's a good packaging for that. Oh, now I can put them back right away. Let's see. I will film um, a makeup collection video and a palette collection video, but not now. Okay, that was a bad idea. I'll do that later. Then, one of my all-time favorite palettes, and I'm sorry I'm so close, but yeah. Um, it's awesome. Uh, I use it... 99% of all the times I do my makeup for some reason and it's the creepy cute from uh, strobe cosmetics it's not called that anymore but yeah shroud yeah they are called shroud but this is the creepy cute you all know what that looks like as well it's the best pastels there is uh, I wish they would do more uh, because it's not the full spectrum, you know. Uh, I have the Pastel Pop from Menagio Cosmetics. That is also really good, but not as good as this. And there are more colors in there. Um, I love uh, Cold Shoulder. And does it say Creep It Real? Oh no, will this be on the other way around? Oh, never mind. Um... I use those two a lot and I also love the green and the orange and that is, is that, yeah that's a very good blush and that's a nice black, not if you want black black but if you want to deepen up and not have black everywhere it's really good. I used it the other day, was it for New Year's? I think so but I have a real big dent in cold shoulder which I don't like because I don't want it to end but yeah uh, this magnet is really strong but I love also this is me you know I'm creepy and kind of cute maybe I love it anyway it sounds like everyone is sleepy Gumbal is sleeping by me. And when I use that, I also use... I didn't think that I was going to like this palette as much as I do. But this is my go-to palette um, if I don't know what to do. And it's the Whale Song from Menagerie. Uh, I have some of the others. Um, I'm a bit annoyed because I want the... The, is it called Serenity palette that Annette made and also the purple one but I can't get a hold of them because they either one of them is sold out or both and it's so freaking annoying and I don't want to talk about it but yeah nevertheless this is one of my favorite palettes ever and it's so good and I don't like all of Menagerie's palettes uh, because they are not the same uh, but this one oh my god this shade all over the lid 
I love it. It's called Whale Song. Um, and I usually use um, the blue ones. Like that one with the creepy cute one. And that one and those two. But it's also really nice to mix with the greens. And they are so amazing. And I really love that you have that shade for your inner corner as well. Um, this is a palette I can't live without. It's so amazing. And it's my go-to for blues. Even though I have some other really 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 great blue palettes this one is i must swatch this even though i don't have anything to take it off but it's such an amazing shade look oh. it's so pretty and it lasts all day yeah and I count these as old. Then a palette that won't look used when I show you. Because I haven't really... I don't think I have used mine. But my mother has the same palette. And I always use that one when I'm at my parents' house. Uh, and it's really, really good. And it's the Sueva Caramel Melange. And it looks like that. That shade, my friends, oh, it's called Liquid Center. Oh, it's so creamy. Ooh, I like it. That's the type of gold brown I like. And it's so simple to use. Uh, you have all your shades you need and also a fun red one that's really good. And that one has, I know a lot of people don't like mattes with glitter in them. I don't mind them at all. Uh, and this one is a good one. It's really nice. Underestimated palette. Um, and like I said, it doesn't look like I've used mine. I've only swatched it, I think. Uh, but I have used my mom's a lot. <laughs> and now I look like this. Yeah, I don't want it all over. Then a palette I have two of, as you may know, if you... Or a follower or mine. And I don't use it just this palette. I use it as a transition palette. And it's the Certified Tropical Wonders. Um, I sometimes use shades from this to use as a, use as a transition shade. And I especially... Grab this palette when I want that shade, um, the orange one too. Can I don't know if you can see it looks a bit dark in this really bright light, which is weird, but it's a little lighter than it looks in the camera, and it's a really nice unique uh, orange, which it doesn't look like here, uh, but it really is. And as I said before, the black has exploded, so that's why it looks like this, and that's why I have two. But uh, I've used most of the shades in here, I think. Have I used all of them? I think I've used all of them. And they are really nice and good to use as transition shades. So I always have this here. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Four left. And now a palette that... If I had the opportunity to buy a backup, I would. And I never buy backups. <laughs> but this palette is so, so, so good. And it's discontinued, unfortunately. And it's the Kaleidos uh, Futurism 4 VR Neon. I love neon shades, but most brands can't make them. Kaleidos can. <laughs> Uh, it looks like this. The only thing I'm missing is a neon pink. You have the shimmer, but that's, you know, not a map. But these four are all amazing neons. They are really good. I love to use this palette together with the Creepy Cute. And also, this looks like a normal gold, but it's a gold orange shimmer. Uh, and the pink is, uh, they are both amazing um this is my favorite kaleidos palette and 
I love it. I wish I had bought a backup. Because now they don't make it anymore. Um, but if they decide to make it again, can you please do a neon pink? Yeah. Then a very random palette, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, I usually don't like these types of palettes, uh, and you will understand why. But my friend, Angelica Lirma, uh, she recommended this, and I have to agree with her. Uh, it's uh, by Petra, uh, Petra, Pixie by Petra, Pixie. And it's a glitter quad, and this one is called Blue Pearl. I have another one, there are three, and it looks like this. These glitters you could use without a glitter glue, and they won't give any more fallout than normal eyeshadows. But I always use a glitter glue uh, anyway, um, and they are freaking amazing. I have never tried glitters that are like eyeshadows like this without being eyeshadows. Because these are pressed glitters, you know. They are amazing. But I don't want to swatch them. But if you like glitters but don't like the hustle with, uh, you know, loose glitters and other pressed glitters, buy these. I think I have... Yeah, I also have the rose bronze, by the way. I haven't used that as much. I'm more like this. <laughs> Um, and they also have a very goldy one, but yeah, this is more pink and red. Really, really nice, and I also use them as extra. Then we have two palettes left, and uh, we can take the palette I used for, I think I used it for Christmas, and it's the old one, it's have another name now. Uh, it's the Colourpop Smoke Show. I think it's called Blowing Smoke now. Uh, I was so excited when this one came. It's a grey <laughs> palette. And I have better silvers, uh, but it is a really good silver in this. Um, and I like the de depth on the matte shades. Uh, how many shimmers are there? There are three shimmers, the ones in the middle, and then there are two, I think there are mattes with glitters, uh, but they are really nice. And I like that there is a white also. Um, I use this palette uh, as a standalone palette and it's really, really good. Maybe I should do a video with my favorite gray palettes because I have some of them that I really like. Maybe. Um, but yeah, this is really, really, really good. And you can still buy it, but it's called, I think it's called Blowing Smoke because another brand already had this title. Then the last palette, and it's the first palette I bought from Huda Beauty. And it started, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I have collected all of these palettes since then. It's the Obsession palettes. I have all of them, I think. And this one is the one that started it because I had to have it. And it's the electric one. Um, it's, it's just freaking amazing. <laughs> it's not... I could do just a look with this palette, but I usually just take it together with something else um i can't it, it's been a while since i since i used it and i know there are some shades in it that aren't as good as the others but overall it's a really good palette it's good pigments and i know a lot of people hate on the obsessions palettes i love them uh, i haven't used one that i had trouble with yet um but i haven't used to be fair, I haven't used the two that are most tricky, and that's the pastel ones and the neons one. I, have, I haven't used them yet, uh, but I will. Um, but overall, I love these, and I love that they are in plastic packaging now, <laughs> not like how many did she, she did release four of these, and then two more, and then the five emerald ones. So then she stopped doing these plastic but yeah 
Uh, I see a lot of people declutter this one and I don't understand why. It's really good and it's a really good red and the orange is, yeah, it's really good. Was that all? Oh my god, 25 minutes. It feels like I've been talking for like 10 minutes. But yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video and now I feel weird and I think everyone in my house is snoring <laughs> so if you hear that i'm sorry but yeah this was fun and thank you madeleine for pushing me to make a video and please go check her out i will link her down below um she's amazing she's an amazing person she's an amazing teacher because she works as a teacher and She's an amazing palette collector. Um, you won't be disappointed if you go watch her. And let's get her up to a thousand uh, subscribers so she can get the features that you get with that. Um, I don't think it will take that long for her to reach that. Um, but let's all try and help her. And please don't leave me. <laughs> uh but yeah that was all for this video now i'm going to check on Jube and gunvald and my sambo uh but bye